Yeah, again, they're, they're really, really good because the only people that come to these shows are people that are already knowledgeable about these types of technologies and these types of solutions. So every discussion can already start at a certain level of detail and level of knowledge. You go to some of those bigger shows and you have to end up explaining what transport is to some people and you never really get onto the interesting topics. Here, pretty much every conversation starts off at the interesting topic. And that's how we differentiate ourselves, right? So we can really start talking about some of our unique solutions rather than having to start at this very generic layer. So again, to me, these conversations are always more interesting uh, because I don't have to go generic. I can start right at the detailed things and on some of the things that make Corient special and some of our unique solutions. Yeah, it's interesting. Last year, I would have said it was all about 100 gig and beyond 100 gig. Uh, that was one of the big things. That's now kind of settled. So everybody's pretty much pursuing the same types of directions for that. Uh, I would say today, probably the most hottest topic is uh, SDN. So most people are looking at how can I squeeze more efficiency out of my network? How can I coordinate across the different layers in my network? Uh, and how can I differentiate the services that I'm providing to my end customers? Uh, and to me, there's two parts to that. There's the SDN controllers themselves, so the software that will interface with the network. Uh, and then when, what I talked about in my, my topic today, which is the network itself. Right? If the SDN layer is going to enable you to have more dynamic control of the network, uh, you still end up with the limitation that even the most powerful controller can only manage, can only control the network as to what the network is capable of doing. So one of the things we're focused on in Corient, and I know I'm preempting your next question, uh, one of the things we're focused on in Corient is not only is effectively working in that SDN domain and making sure that we're, we're active in there and coming up with good solutions there, but also focusing on the fundamental underlying infrastructure to make sure that it can, can be manipulated in all the ways that these new, more dynamic controlling mechanisms uh, can now control the network. Uh, and to do that, uh, we've introduced what we call a universal transport platform. Whereas historically, most transport platforms, uh, while they can often do multiple different protocols at the same time, they were really limited by protocol based on the cards that you equip the system with. And yes, you could equip most systems with an OTN card or a packet card or an SDH card, each card was then restricted to that one specific domain, one specific protocol. What we've done with these universal transport platforms is we've kind of lifted that restriction where we only have one interface card and on every port on those cards, uh, you can do not only every protocol or any protocol on any port, but every protocol on every port simultaneously. Essentially, when traffic comes in on a port on one of these universal platforms, uh, it can actually manage the traffic frame by frame by frame at any layer. One frame OTN, the next frame on that same port, you know, carry Ethan, the next one MPLSTP, the next one Sudowire, even as IP. Right? So again, you have complete control over it now, and when you couple that with this very dynamic controlling mechanism with SDN, you end up with a really uh, completely end-to-end -end powerful solution. And by the way, we're calling the combination of those things the Corient Dynamic Optical Cloud, because I'm in marketing and we have to come up with clever names for things. Uh, so, but that's the concept, right? It's, it's unleashing not only the network, it's not only providing these capabilities in the network, but then using SDN to unleash those capabilities and put the power back in the service provider's hands to use the network, this efficient tool, this flexible tool, any way that they want. Well, it's, it's another really interesting topic because a lot of us vendors are coming out with, with, I think, pretty flexible, pretty innovative solutions. But the fact is, is that most networks already have something deployed. Uh, and some of that technology is extremely old, 50 years in some cases. Uh, and so the question is, how do I get from the existing infrastructure that I have in place now uh, and start implementing and enabling some of these new, more flexible capabilities? Uh, and there was some general agreement on a few concepts, although I think Corian has a, a somewhat unique approach to this. Most people were talking about, uh, you know, either keep SDH separate and overlay, uh, overlay packet or use OTN as a way to combine a separate packet and, and SDH layer. With Corian, what we're doing is instead we're, we're removing the restrictions, like I said. It's a, the point of these universal platforms. It says you don't have to choose. You can deploy a circuit-based infrastructure using these, uh, these universal platforms where I can roll my existing traffic onto it. So just take the line side of an SDH platform, an SDS, SDM16 or 64, just put it right into the client. 
right? But then over time, I can start migrating and changing the way I'm using that same port. So I don't have to choose one or the other. I can deploy a universal platform, use it one way today, and then slowly change bit by bit, frame by frame, how I'm using that port uh, to now enable some of these more flexible services. Uh, so again, I think that is something service providers struggle with today, is yes, they can buy these technologies, but how do they implement them in these widely deployed networks? And something I think these universal transport platforms can really help with, uh, because they don't force a service provider to choose one, one protocol or another. They can start with one and migrate to the other with the same physical hardware, on the same physical port even.